From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU Update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Brooke Pryor. Brooke, Oklahoma, like a lot of schools, has a lot of people working on recruiting behind the scenes. It's a 24-7, 365 uh, venture for big-time college football teams. But OU has a new face for that, uh, for that job. It's Annie Hansen. Tell us a little bit about her. I mean, I, I think a lot of people might be surprised that mm -hmm. a woman's in this job, but she's not the only woman doing this either. Exactly. There was actually a story done over the summer about Annie Hansen, and she was, well, she was really included in this SB Nation story about all these different women that work in recruiting. At that point, she was working at UNC, uh, University of North Carolina, uh, working in their office. She started out in recruiting and then she moved to be an assistant AD and was kind of helping strategic communications between all of uh, UNC's varsity sports. She's an OU alum, which is how she ended up back here. She actually, she was a track and field athlete and then went to grad school at OU to kind of end up working in athletic administration. Um, and so when this position opened up, it's OU's executive director of recruiting, kind of a, a hybrid position that Lincoln Riley created. She was one of their first calls as an alum, as someone who worked in, the, who went to grad school at OU, worked in development before she ended up going, I think, Kansas State. She kind of bounced around all over the place before her longest tenure before OU was at UNC. Well, what about her 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 job? I mean, like I said, a lot of this is happening behind the scenes, and uh, you know, people know obviously coaches go out and they see these athletes and they recruit them and you know make the scholarship offers. But what does her job entail? So I, I visited with her a couple weeks ago and walked into her office and. There's just papers everywhere, and not just papers scattered around. Like they are very organized. There are schedules for everything, for every you know junior day, unofficial visit, official visit. Um, she had gift bags that were you know lot, that were just laid flat, waiting to be you know opened and stuff put inside there. And the thing that makes Annie qualified for this job, you know, not only is she highly educated and has experience in the field, but she's also highly organized and very good at strategic communications, which is something that you need in recruiting to be able to coordinate all of the different moving parts that go into these visits. Um, and so while she was at UNC, she created this thing called, I believe it was called Carolina Collective, where um, kind of like this document cloud almost where she, where different um, sports uploaded files to this, you know, everything from a form file for an official visit or an offer letter or anything like that and kind of helped just sync that up across the sport. So she's bringing that kind of level of strategic communications to OU. Yeah, and you mentioned her OU ties, an alum, a former athlete. But she's even got a deeper connection, right, with, uh, I guess, maybe her, her landlord while she's getting <laughs> adjusted to life back in Norman? Yeah, landlord's a good word for it. Also, good family friends uh, with Barry and Becky Switzer. She actually met them while she was a grad student at OU. Um, the Switzers needed someone to run their five German Shepherds. They were put in contact with Annie from someone in the athletic department said, hey, there's this girl she used to run uh, at OU. She's back in grad school. She still likes to exercise. She would be perfect. So, you know, Annie <laughs> went over and met the Switzers. They clicked instantly. And that was, you know, back, I believe, in like 2012 or so, 2011. Um, they've stayed in contact this whole time. And when she got the job, she had to move out to Norman from North Carolina on like the week before the first game week. And with things being hectic, you know, her husband is a coach, uh, a, a GA at UNC right now. So the things so up in the air, she called Becky Switzer and they were talking and Becky said, you know what, come live with us. We've got some extra, some extra space, some spare bedrooms. <laughs> come stay with us until you can get settled. All right, well, lots of, uh, lots of uh, different aspects of Annie Hansen's story. You can read that this weekend and in the Oklahoman and on News OK. And be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.